Thank you. I, you know, what, I'm just going to insert right here for a second, but one of my frustrations is when we talk about red flags is that there were a million red flags that happened in Florida, okay? It had nothing to do with this law that's being presented today or what they passed about seizing their weapons or anything. There were red flags that were ignored because they weren't communicated effectively. But yet, when we have that discussion, I get criticism from folks saying, oh, well, there might be a teacher that might target that child and then say something about that child because of the way they are or who they are or what they look like or whatever. So, you know, we have to have a fair discussion about really, you know, what signs were there that got missed. And, you know, my frustration is law enforcement does need tools. I agree. But had law enforcement contacted and had communication with the school, would they have been able to do something about that child to go in and talk to the child, the student, and, and really see what was going on there? And I guess, you know, I think we have to have the ability for that communication to occur. But yet, when we put that out there, oh, you're trampling on their rights, their parents, you know, you can't talk about what's going on at home or anything like that. So, you know, I get a little frustrated because you know, we're selectively talking about rights here, and, um, and and yet, you know, we're talking about the tools that law enforcement needs. Well, if law enforcement had the ability to communicate with the school as to this is the actions that are occurring on campus, well, these are the actions that are occurring in the neighborhood or at home, let's communicate, get a clear picture of what's actually going on with this student and prevent the student from actually reaching that tipping point of going and getting the weapon and doing it. You know, we're, we, we can't do that. We're going to violate this federal law. We're going to violate, you know, privacy. We're going to violate this. So we have to have that kind of discussion, and I, I, I think that's where I get frustrated, too. So, you know, there are a lot of red flags uh, that were missed um, in Florida um, where the systems just continuously failed with this, with this family. And so that's frustrating to me. I think we have to have that conversation and almost before we have this conversation, in my opinion, but I'll leave it at that. Senator Clark, you're recognized.